Football is not just for me and you. Celebrities have always been involved in the sport. Some have a real affinity for the club of choice. Others have a connection about as hollow as a PK tweet. Let's take a look at what celebrity follows your Premier League club. Arsenal, Piers Morgan. Not only have Arsenal Fan TV made YouTube a dangerous place for Arsene Wenger to stumble upon, but the Frenchman might want to stay off Twitter whenever the club lose as well. Usually Piers Morgan has a few things to say. An outspoken Arsenal fan, if he wasn't a successful journalist, you get the feeling he'd be outside the Emirates every week screaming at a rock his microphone. Maybe with less use of the word fam though. When he met Aaron Ramsey in April 2015, the Welshman actually refused to shake his hand due to criticism he'd received from Morgan in the past. The Good Morning host has since dubbed him Aaron what's his name? Burnley. Prince Charles. Yep, didn't think you would expect to see this man in here, did you? In 2012, Prince Charles finally came out and announced he was a devout supporter of Burnley. He was presumably delighted to see them beat Chelsea last weekend, losing at home to West Brom the next week. Not so much. Bournemouth. Seth Rogen. Apparently, don't question it, Soccer AM made him pick a random club out of a hat about six years ago. Just roll with it. Most celebrities don't even know what a Bournemouth is. Chelsea. Charlize Theron. When Roman Abramovich bought Chelsea in 2003, for the next five years it seemed as though the club were signing anyone they could get their hands on, even if their name was Steve Sidwell. So why not sign up Charlize Theron as well? In the summer of 2009, the American actress declared herself a blue and was unveiled on the pitch. This was during the same summer that John Terry was linked to Manchester City. Yeah, it seemed to work. Crystal Palace, Simon Bird. No matter what Simon Bird does during the rest of his acting career, he will always be remembered as the four-eyed kid who sh** himself on the in-betweeners. The 32-year-old, yeah, he's not 16 anymore, has claimed that he was a Crystal Palace fan, although it was his co-star James Buckley, remember those West Ham trials that never happened, who ended up getting into a Twitter spat with Ian Dowie's son, Everton, Sylvester Stallone. For 10 years, Robert Earl worked as a club director at Everton before selling his stake in March of last year. His friendship with Sylvester Stallone led to Rocky becoming a fan of the Toffees, and the Hollywood actor has since regretted not buying the club himself. Having said that, while Stallone has pretended to be a fighter in the past, real life boxer Tony Bellew, who actually starred alongside the actor in Creed, is a lifelong Everton fanatic and has formed a strong bond with Wayne Rooney in recent years. Huddersfield Town, Sir Patrick Stewart. Sir Patrick Stewart is a lifelong Huddersfield Town supporter who has followed the Terriers since he was seven years old, back in the days when he had hair and Marvel had not run his character into the ground about seven times. A fan of the club for over 70 years, Stewart claimed that last season's promotion push was the most thrilling campaign he'd ever witnessed. I wonder what he makes of sitting joint top of the Premier League. Leicester City, Gary Lineker. No prizes for guessing who Leicester City's big name supporter is. Even if you didn't appreciate the Fox's fairy tale season, I can only assume you were a Tottenham fan or were dead inside, match of the day was made all the more fun to watch that season due to Gary Lineker struggling to contain himself as the weeks went by. He had spent the first seven years of his career with his hometown club, would go on to lead a consortium that saved him from bankruptcy, and is currently an honorary vice president, and will almost certainly die happy. Liverpool, Daniel Craig. Manchester United may have almost signed the very first James Bond, but the allegiance of the latest one has always been with Liverpool. Daniel Craig has often been spotted at Anfield, and he's even tipped Steven Gerrard to succeed him as the next 007. I'm guessing he probably had a few drinks when he said that. Manchester City, the Gallagher brothers. Noel and Liam Gallagher don't agree on much, but at least they still support the same football team. The former Oasis frontmen have been lifelong Man City fans, following them from Main Road to the Champions League and are regularly seen at games. According to Roberto Mancini, Liam kissed him straight on the mouth in the immediate aftermath of the title winning game against QPR in 2012. To be honest, I'm not even surprised. Man United, Kit Harrington. Kit Harrington might be busy trying to take on Knight of the Living Dead, but the Game of Thrones star is a staunch Manchester United fan who has claimed that he recently found it mind blowing to meet childhood hero David Beckham. He was obviously less enthused to bump into Victor Inichibi, who snubbed the forward's request for a selfie, leading the outraged Sunderland striker to slam the actor on Twitter. Other famous Red Devil supporters include the former fastest man on the planet, a hobbit, and your one-off countdown. Newcastle. Anton Deck. No prizes for guessing the answer here. Anton Deck, the lovable Geordie rogues, if they're not seen on Saturday night television or out at dinner getting bothered for selfies, they can usually be spotted at St. James's Park, watching Newcastle no doubt lurch from one disaster to the next. Another high-profile mag is Cheryl Cole, who in September 2009 almost came to the club's aid, claiming she would buy the club if only she had the cash. Because, as we all know, Simon Cowell only pays in pound coins. Southampton, Craig David. Yeah, it's 2017 and Craig David is probably as relevant as Steve McLaren's career, but he makes this list anyway. The washed up singer having supported hometown club Southampton his entire life. Although, when he was asked to choose his best ever Southampton 11, he put Alan Shearer on the wing and Ricky Lambert up front. So... 
Yeah. Stoke City, Sugar Ray Leonard. Possibly the most random addition to the list, and I'm not sure how genuine his allegiance was, but Sugar Ray Leonard, one of the greatest boxers of all time, was oddly given a Stoke City jersey and told to attend a home game with Chelsea in September 2008. He even gave the side a motivational team talk before the game, not that they needed it, with Tony Poulos no doubt spraying spit in all directions. It did not work, with the Potters losing 2-0. Swansea City, Catherine Zeta-Jones. Swansea City don't exactly have celebrity supporters coming out their ears, but Welsh actress Catherine Zeta-Jones has at least affirmed her love for her hometown club. Following the club's 2-1 victory over Man United in September 2015, the former Chicago actress bought a bunch of inflatable swans for her swimming pool in New York as some sort of strange tribute. After last weekend's result, I'm guessing they're stuffed in a bin somewhere. Seems only fair. Tottenham, Rupert Grint. Remember Rupert Grint? I wouldn't blame you if you don't. His career died about five years ago. The 28-year-old who, aside from appearing in Postman Pat the movie and pretending to be Ed Sheeran's stalker, has spent the last five years living off the millions he made as Harry Potter's best friend. The Harlow-born actor is a lifelong Tottenham fan, so he's probably going to spend this week wishing Marcus Alonso did not exist. Watford, Elton John. Not many people on this list are more invested in their clubs than Elton John. The world-renowned singer became club chairman of Watford in 1976, appointed Graham Taylor, invested hugely as the club rose three divisions to the top flight, finished runners-up to Liverpool and reached the FA Cup final in 1984. Although while he is a devout horner, he says he avoids matches because he doesn't like crowds. To be fair, when you're getting phones shoved in your face every three seconds, I don't blame him. West Brom, Adrian Childs. Adrian Childs is best known as the ITV host who was a fixture on TV for five years before being unceremonious dumped in January 2015. He's a season ticket holder at West Brom, with both of his cars having WBA in their registration. West Ham, Russell Brand. Russell Brand may look like he spends most nights sleeping in the bushes, but the man did end up marrying Katy Perry, so he must be doing something right. The Essex comedian is a West Ham fan, and in October 2014, Gate crashed a BBC Sport live interview with Sam Allardyce following a win over Man City to give him a kiss on the cheek. Seemed a bit out of character, he's usually such a shy type who hates the limelight. 